Welcome to my channel where we cover the lore of Final Fantasy XIV. We cover the stories both big and small, the epic and the cute, the silly and the tragic. I hope you all enjoy the ride and welcome to the Chronicler of Lore. After traveling around the first, you take a trip to visit the machinist, and of course Stephanivian has a problem. Joye has been acting odd, keeping secrets, wandering off, and stuff like that. A lot like she did when her dad got kidnapped, and Stefan's worried that she might have gotten into some trouble again. And he wants you to put on your detective hat and find out what's wrong. He'd do it himself, but he thinks Joye will notice if he starts snooping around. As luck would have it, she just left on another one of her mysterious trips, so you head out to see if you can figure out just what she's gotten herself into this time. You see her meeting up with Hilda and talking about how today is the day when they'll accomplish their goal. They head off without saying more, and before you can head back to Stefan to let him know, Muscadine catches sight of you. Since he's curious about why you're back in the city, you let him know what you're up to. Ironically enough, he's heard from some reliable sources that Hilda and Joye have been seen a lot out in Falcon's Nest. It's not like people don't know them, so when they're spotted, people start to talk. Muscadine wants to know what his sister is up to too, so he wants you to tell him what you find out. When you tell Stefan that both women have been seen at Falcon's Nest, he gets even more confused. So he decides to go to the nest with you to see what the women are up to. At the nest, after asking a few questions, you find out that the women are on their way to the Black Iron Bridge. So the two of you head there to see what you see. When you near the bridge, you start to hear gunshots and you see that the two women are out practicing, trying to come up with some new techniques, but it hasn't been easy. They were better when they had someone to learn from, but doing it on their own is hard. Joye wants to ask Stefan for some advice, but Hilda thinks that would defeat the whole purpose if they're trying to advance on their own. That's admirable and all, but only a fool refuses to take advice from someone who's better than they are just to show that they're good. If a path has been made, follow it until it runs out. Then, if you're smart, you'll have picked up the tools along the way to make a path better for the people who come after you. But these women are stubborn. So stubborn that Joye even refuses to reveal just how she changes her hair every time she draws her weapon, something I've been wondering about myself. But not every question has an answer, and sometimes you just have to live with that. Having heard what the two women are trying to do, Stefan thinks about how his entire goal had been to start the machinists and make them become somebody in Ishgard. That idea took on a life of his own, now it belongs to you, Hilda, and Joye more than it does to him. He likes that, but he can still play the mentor role, even if indirectly. The girls need inspiration, but they want to do it themselves, so what Stefan decides is that if they could see some of the new techniques you've developed during your adventures on the first, then they might be able to come up with new techniques of their own. It's a good plan, so Stefan draws out some creatures for you to put down where the two women should be able to see. They watch your work in secret, like Stefan said they would, so the two of you head back to Ishgard to leave the ladies to their work. Back in the city, the two women show up at the manufactory to let you know that they aren't idiots. Your showing up and showing off your moves had some mighty convenient timing. It's not like you're not one of the most famous people in the world. That's like LeBron James showing up at a random park where some kids are playing basketball and not expecting to end up all over social media. They knew exactly what you were doing, and they're grateful that you took time away from your fetch quest field schedule for them, but they were trying to be you without you showing them how. I think that's dumb since you can get farther if you let your mentor make you a master before you do it on your own, but the two women want to do things the hard way, so who are you to interfere? Besides. The fact that they have time to waste means they've done a good job of keeping Ishgard safe for now, and that's pretty much all that matters. This concludes the story of the Machinists, at least for now. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and ding that notification bell. And if you want to buy me a coffee for my work, sign up to become a member of the channel. Until next time guys, later.